Didn't you say we are going to secure our mycotic router? Actually, I'm kind of lost here. How does groups and users secure our router actually? Welcome to Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology networking for free. To mention but a few, we have our Cisco and Microtech series and we'll be doing other vendors series in the future. If you are new on our channel, make sure to watch our previous videos as they build up to this lesson. In our lesson today, we'll be focusing on securing Microtech router. As we all know, security is broad, so our focus will be on configuring groups and users. You might be asking yourself, how does groups and users secure our router OS? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to give you two scenarios. You probably have internet installed on your home, and when you bought that link, your ISP came and installed what we call a CPE, Customer Premise Equipment. And in that Customer Premise Equipment, there was probably a router that acts as all-in-one. It acts as a router, a switch, wireless access point, and a firewall. And when it, they installed that router, they gave it authentication credentials. And if you are inquisitive like me, they probably refused to give you the login of that router of that router board or router OS. I asked my ISP to give me my credentials so that I can do some configurations on my router board, but they told me it was against company policy, which is true because by doing that, by giving me credentials, they'll be letting me to have access on their network, which is going to be a bridge of security on their side. The only thing that they let us to have was the SSID and the password for our Wi-Fi. So scenario number two, maybe you are working at an ICT company and on that company there are divisions, meaning we have senior engineers, we have junior engineers and we also have interns. All of those divisions or groups they are going to have different permission or access. For example, our senior engineers, they might have full permission. And maybe for our junior engineers, they might be given the right permissions. And the interns may be given the read permission. Or they may be given customized permissions. For example, maybe they are given read testing tools and also to access the winbox. So without wasting time, let me open my Winbox and log into my router OS for configuration. We'll be using both Winbox and command line interface. The first thing that I want to do is to reset my configuration to default configuration of Microtech. But before I can do that, I want to first show you my IP address. Let me type CMD. Then let me do ipconfig forward slash all. And then as you can see, my IP address is 10.10.10.254. My gateway 10.10.10.1. And I also have my DNS there. So let me minimize it. Don't want to close it. Because right now I'm going to reset my configuration and I'll show you my IP address once I've reset my configuration. So to reset my configuration I go to system reset configuration and I'm gonna click on no default configuration and press reset configuration and yes to agree to this configuration to be reset. So just gonna wait for a bit for it to come back. 
now that we have our default configuration there's no password anymore so i have to delete this password and connect to my router board to show you that we don't have configuration anymore or we are on our default configuration let me go to ip and then routes we can see there are no ip ip routes in our configuration then okay let me go to ip address and you also don't have any ip address configured on this micro tick device okay let me close these windows now let's check our ip address let me max maximize my command line interface and hit ip config forward slash all again as you can see right now my IP address is 169.254.188.193 That IP address It's IP address scope for Windows It's called APIPA We'll give our router bot an IP address later in this lesson So that we can log into our party Because in order to log into a party we need an IP address Unlike Winbox, Winbox, uh, we are using MAC address to log in right now, or we logged in using MAC address. So let's carry on with our lesson. Let me close the command line interface, and then let me go to system. We're gonna start by creating users or by editing our default user. So let's go to users. As we can see, we have admin, and it does permission of full or access of full so i will double click on my admin to open the config box for users to assign a password to my admin account i will go to password and then there where it says new password i'll type the password that i want i'm going to make it one two three four five six and then click confirm one two three four five six then we press OK, OK, and let me exit and let's start again. And then right now that we have given it the password, we have to type our password for this admin account, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we connect and we are inside. So by giving it the password, we actually have uh, secured our winbox or our root because it has a password and if you don't give it to someone they won't be able to log in because they need a password to log in but with the right tools they can be able to hack your password so at least when you have changed or you deleted the admin account then and you created a new user with a new a username and new username and also the password it will take time for them or for a hacker to hack you unlike when you are using the admin already when he has a uh, uh, admin he knows the only thing that he needs to get or to hack is the password because the user already has its admin and admin account by default cannot be deleted if you don't have another account that have full rights to show that let me create a user yeah let's create a user one with right permission and then okay there we have our user it's existing let's try to delete our admin user okay. let me press we press minus sign as you can see it's saying couldn't remove user admin the user is last the user is last one with full access permission okay so let's see if we create another user and then this user let's give him full access or full permission and then okay then let's try to delete admin again we managed to delete admin because we have user number two it's having full 
access or full permission. Let me create another account. The one that we are going to use. Let me name it lab test. And also give it full permission. The password, let me let us make the password one, two, three, four, five, six. Confirm it one, two, three, four, five, six. And click OK. We have our lab test account. And right now I'm going to delete user number two and also delete user one the configuration i applied on lab test user account is similar to how your isp will configure your user account now moving to our second scenario where we have our ict company our senior engineers will get full access permissions and to do that we'll use the similar configuration as for lab test and for our junior engineers, we can give them the right access permissions. And to do that, let me close the user list so that I can start from the beginning again. We go to system, users, so that we can go open the user list. And then press the plus sign. We have Palesa. She's our junior engineer. And we are going to give Palesa right permission, password. Let's keep it as one, two, three, four, five, six. Confirm password. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for our interns, we'll give them access to Winbox, read, and test. And to do that, we have to configure our customized groups and to do it, let me close this dialog box again, go to system, users, and instead of clicking on the plus sign, we are going to click on groups. As we can see, before I can create this group, let me show you, double click on full, we can see full permissions, all this local SSH reboot, all of the policies they are ticked so that it shows that he has permission to all of these policies okay and the read read he has permissions to those that are ticked but he can he cannot configure he can only read right you can see the ones that are ticked that's the ones that he has permission to and he can do some of the configuration so let's click our plus sign we went to groups, we click our edition sign, and we said we're going to give them test, win box, and read permission. Then we apply, okay. There we have our group. So in order to assign a user or an intent to this group, what we are going to do is I'm going to click on users, click the edition sign, and then I'll create my intent, my intent, the name is Rhea and then on groups I'm going to choose my group 1 the one that I just configured for the interns the password let's make it 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then confirmation 1 2 3 4 5 6 last but not least what I'm going to do right now I'm going to configure IP address for my router OS so that I can be able to login into my parties for command line configuration and to do that i go to ip address and then on the dialog box that open i click on the edition sign let's give it an ip address of 10.10.10.1 with subnet max mask of slash 24 and i'm going to apply this on ethernet 2 okay and then let me close it and then right now just want to give my pc an ip address on the same scope as our root and to do that we go to ethernet change adapter settings click on our adapter double click on our adapter go to properties internet protocol version 4 
and then I'm going to give it the static IP address of 10.10.10.10 with subnet mask of 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
username print enter we have Ria and she belongs to the intense group and with that that's how we reach the end of our lesson for today on our coming lesson we will be learning the bridge and DHCP server if you found this lesson informative share it with someone you think will also benefit from it and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also to like our video so that you can be the first one to be notified when we drop another video or lesson